Hi everyone, this is Amanda. Thank you for tuning into my channel today. I have a haul from the Dollar Tree and they had, I just went on Sunday and they had gobs and gobs of new washi tape. Now if, if you're watching my video and you're from the local area, um, you know who you are, who I'm going to say this to. It is the Dollar Tree on Hamilton and Morse where I found this washi tape. So anyway, I'm going to show you everything that I found. And I really like this tape. So the first one, I'm going to take one of them out and then just to show you. And then I'll just show you the front part of the hair. But this is what the rolls look like nice and big they look like 10 meters the standard size and they've got a little piece of tape here to hold it together but this one is kind of a retro floral kind of gives you that 70s look that's really cute and then other than that you have another kind of 70s looking one in the red with some you know just some kitschy little flowers and floral designs looks almost hand drawn in places and this one is also more of a retro design in green with little um looks like almost like a patchwork flower garland and very cute you know for a dollar you just can't beat this and so here we have some polka dots the brown with the, the pink and the coral and cream and white and mint these are just beautiful colors another polka dot which is brown and blue which i love this com combination together i love pink and brown and then i love blue and brown together very pretty and then another polka dot is just your black and white and your gray and white and this almost looks like a gar like you know those curtains that hang down um, from a door or something. It's almost what it reminds me of if you put it like this way. So that's really cute. It looks like a garland, like a beaded garland or something like that. Um, and then also this is more of a retro circles and it has outlines and colors in olive, red, and a dark teal. And a little bit, I don't know, I can't tell if that's gold or if it's just the olive green on the outlines, but I think it's the green. I know this was a really good find. I, I was so happy to get this. And here you have a nice pink plaid with brown. Can you see that well enough in this camera? It's beautiful. I know, I love it all. And then we have some more characterized ones. So you have, this one is Owls. And this one is zoo animals and kind of like a cartoon kid characters. And then here is a It's Your Birthday tape, which I love. Okay, so that is all the washi tape I got. And I thought, wow, this is a good find. And they still had some, so I was pretty happy about that. Um, Next, I found some stickers that I hadn't seen before. This one looks like some magnolias with a little bird cage. And I love these. If they're not magnolias, yeah, that's okay. But that's what they look like to me. And these are pansies. And I know these are pansies because it's one of my favorite flowers. They're so hardy. You can hardly kill them. And then sunflowers. I love sunflowers too. And these are just beautiful, beautiful stickers. And if you were buying these, I would consider these are similar to K and Company, um, like the Tim Coffee or, you know what I'm talking about, the puffy stickers and because the, these are three dimensional and that's what I would attribute it to. And th those would be like four or five dollars a pack and these are a dollar. So score. And then in the sticker department, I also purchased a couple of Marvel comics. And I don't know yet what I'll do with these, but it's super, it's not, not Superman. It's Iron Man, Captain America, Thor, and Hulk. And this one looks like it's just Iron Man and Captain America. So 
it looks like Civil War, Captain America, and then the Avengers. So maybe that's not Iron Man. Okay, I don't know. Oh, I'm not good at this. <laughs> oh, I, I can't be good at everything. So that's that. And then I, since I'm always on the look for a new notebook, I found this one. And it, it, oh, it spirals from the top. So I like this and it's um, a good, it's a good change. So for a dollar, that was a steal. In their back to school department, they had some new gel pens that I can't wait to try. This one is different because it has all this variety of ink so that when you write with it, it comes out in all different colors like a rainbow. And I thought, how cool would that look on a plan with me? I have some stickers coming that are Dr. Seuss themed that I thought this would look really good with. And then I think I have some with a unicorn theme coming that I also thought this would look cute with. So we'll, I'll try it and I'll see if that's the case. And then this one I like just because they're denim. I thought the barrel being um, different kind of blue jeans was just awesome. Uh, and it reminds me of school and it says dazzling denim gel pens metallic ink and it comes in pink blue and green so i can't wait to use those those are great and then this is a calendar for the fridge which just has the little peel off calendar and then a um you know like a teacup set and a notepad at the bottom and i thought how cool this one that you could use this little miniature calendar just to mark off days like cross things out if you're waiting to go somewhere have this on the fridge and you say you know x out this many days or whatever till school starts or whatever and so i like that as a dollar also and then this i oh i think i scratched it it wasn't like that when i got it darn it Anyway, this is a Stephanie Meyer book, The Host, which I have not read. I read the Twilight books because she wrote the Twilight series. And I don't know if this was good or not. And I'm sure it has, I'm sure it's not as good as Twilight. I really like the Twilight books. But for a dollar, I thought it was worth a try. And it's, you know, it's not one of those off-label type books that you find there. And then just because I was in the Dollar Tree, I found a couple of things for me. Now, my husband buys socks at Dollar Tree all the time and he wears them for a while and then he throws them away. I am kind of like a sock snob. So I, I have to have like a nicer pair of socks. But when I was in the Dollar Tree, I found these. And these are different because... They're not like the ones my husband buys. These actually are, have some, you know, cotton to them. And then they have this mesh at the top, which I really like. It's one of my favorite types of sock that has the mesh at the top and then has this on the bottom. So I was absolutely thrilled to find two pairs for a dollar and I got two packs of them. And these were in their back to school section in the front of the store. And so I thought, why not? Because cause the reason why I'm a sock snob is because of quality. And these have good quality to them. So we'll see how they wash up. And then also, I hadn't seen these at the Dollar Tree before. And, you know, these are all kinds of barrettes that I always wear. And then this funky little Halloween headband. I thought that was awesome. I can't wait to give that a try. So anyway, this is my haul from the Dollar Tree, my latest one. I was very thrilled to find all of this stuff there. And I hope you like this video. I hope you find something here that you can go to your local Dollar Tree and find. Because it's always nice when somebody finds something and then you're like, oh, I've got to go get it. I've got to go get it. Um, but anyway, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more haul videos or planner related videos or scrapbooking videos, subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot, guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.